Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week's vlog is kind of continuing on from last week's one where I was running around the Trossachs. Today I'm hiking around the Trossachs and we're gonna be wild camping for my first time ever, my boyfriend's first time ever, and our dog's first time ever. I'm a little bit stressed. We're currently packing up all our gear. We're still at Karma Lake of Monteith, that's the lake behind me. So beautiful here, absolutely gorgeous. But where we're gonna be staying tonight is gonna be absolutely stunning or at least that's the plan what we're doing is we're going to be hiking up ben ann seeing if there are any wild camping spots up there and hopefully pitching a tent halfway up the mountain at a few hundred meters it's not a very high peak it's 400 and something meters compared to the 700 plus that some of the other ones around here are so it shouldn't be too crazy and also we have like the nicest day of the year to do it on so we're super lucky but we have no idea what we're doing so i'm going to bring you guys along with me so that you you can experience everything with us for the first time. Hopefully that will be good viewing and not just super stressful for everyone involved. Right now we're packing up. I will show you what we are doing inside. So we're setting out everything at the moment, just organizing things. Because we've been here and we are staying here for quite a long time, we are kind of separating things out into what we're taking camping and what we are not taking camping so that we don't have to take like all our worldly possessions up a big hill. So we are each taking one camping bag. That's Fian's, that's mine. I'm quite used to camping for ultra marathons, but obviously everything is fairly minimal with that and you don't have to set up your own tent usually. Other people will do that for you. So you just rock up, roll out your sleeping bag, your sleeping mat and just eat loads and go to sleep. But obviously we have to do a lot more of the admin side of things when we're doing it ourselves. I've been just like trying to organize that and like get enough water and all this kind of stuff. Obviously there are waterways up there, but also a lot of it's farmed land in the area. And so if we can avoid it, we want to not be drinking that water if we can help it. So we have lots of water with us and we've been very generously provided a lot of camping gear by Go Outdoors. So we had a look through their site and kind of was just like, we want one of everything because we actually don't have very much when it comes to camping gear. We've got ourselves a tent, we've got ourselves sleeping bags, we've got ourselves a jet boil, and we're gonna be basically doing the whole hog when we're up there. Uh, but I'll show you more when we're there and it will hopefully make a lot more sense because right now I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it should make more sense when we're on our way up. Bye bye, nice lake. Come on then. Started with everything on my back. Just leaving the hotel now. So we're just at the base of Ben Ann. We're about to start heading up. It is currently 10 past five. That is hopefully where we're gonna be camping for the night. Although I might've mentioned that I have no idea what I'm doing. So TBC, but fingers crossed. And we're here with Alec as well. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> he is taking some cool pics because it's gonna be beautiful up there and might as well make the most of it. And I've got Tia behind me pretending that she's a a deer or something just hiding in the undergrowth. It is a hot day for all of us, but especially for the dogs. So yeah, we're waiting until quite late to head up and make sure it's quite cool. And then I reckon like last night, as soon as the sun went in, it got so cold <laughs> for me, not actually that cold, like overall, but for me, it felt really cold. So hopefully it will cool down pretty quickly. And then we'll all be wrapped up in our sleeping bags, which I'm really excited about. Hi. Hey. <laughs> You're happy. Will be when we're up the top. We've had to park a little bit of a way away from the base of the route, so we are walking to the start of the walk. That makes sense. Got all my stuff, got the dog. Really excited. <laughs> climbing for wait a second just over 40 minutes oh no we've been going for just over 40 minutes and climbing over we're at three, over 300 meters now it's very sweaty very hot I was just saying that this is a form of fitness that I am like 
entirely lacking. I can do running, I can do hills, I can do weights, but walking hills with a heavy weight on my back, quite different and quite difficult. Uh, so, you know what that means? More practice needed. So I'm just gonna have to come up here and do it more, which I'm all right with. <laughs> Struggling. How are you feeling? I'm going to have to bleep that. Sweaty. <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> bleep. Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that's not right. a person. Just this thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, they're at 400. We're at 400, 400. meters, yeah. Okay. And finally, there's a breeze. Oh, yeah. That is nice. That is. Quite a view, but... Look, we made it to the top. That's Fian on the little peak behind me. Bloody hell, this place is. Gorgeous! Just casually being pulled off by my dog. Um, I can see why so many people come here. It's absolutely stunning. There's Fian on the actual peak. A uh, bit of a scramble to get up there. I'm currently being pulled along by the dog who is desperate to work her way up as well. But I mean, look at this. Hello! <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's the view. That's Loch Katrine. And then over this side is Loch Acre. Um, and that's a sheer drop. It's uh, pretty cool, isn't it? So we're coming down off the peak a little bit to set up camp. I don't know if you can see Fian. He's on that little lump there. And um, yeah, we're going to set it up. I feel completely knackered from the last few days of hiking. Uh, it's the sort of exercise I'm not very used to. And I feel this sort of way that I keep looking around being like, Oh, come on, you can't feel tired in a place like this. It's so beautiful. Uh, but it's kind of how I feel in ultras as well. I'm like, remember to look up, remember to enjoy the views. That's why you do this kind of thing. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, my little legs are very tired and I haven't slept very well recently. Um, and camping, you know, it's not notoriously great for how you sleep, especially with a dog, but we will see. Um, I'm actually very excited, so we're going to set up our tent now and watch sunset from it. So this is our little setup of the things that we're trying out today for the first time ever. This is the Banshee 300 tent that was recommended by so many people to me as like a hikeable tent. It's a three man, uh, they have a two man version and it just means that there's a bit more space for two people in there. And it is supposed to be like super convenient to hike with. It's not really heavy and we carried it all the way up here and that wasn't a problem, was it Fee? easy I was sweating so much on the way up but but the tent wasn't the problem it's only like two and a bit kilos which is which is nothing and then we got our sleeping bags inside and then bougie element we got these van gogh pillows i never ever ever have a pillow when um i'm camping so i usually basically stuff the case of my sleeping bag with my clothes but today we're going bougie so i got a pillow which was brilliant and then we got a jet boil as well from go outdoors and that will be being used to make our dinner So for tonight's dinner, we are having Huel. This is a little bit old. It's their Thai green curry one. It's absolutely delicious. So we just got to boil the water and then it's in there and then it rehydrates kind of quickly. So um, super excited for that. And then this jet boil is so cool. That bit goes red when it's at temperature. And I didn't think it was going to light up here because it's a little bit windy, but it did. So very happy gal and I'll be even happier once we get our food. Check out this view. Oh my god, I just can't get over it. So we're eating our dinner now. It has, we've got these like collapsible 
uh, stojo things. They're supposed to be for like lunches, lunch boxes, um, and then they're like stackable and stuff, but actually they work really well for this. So I'm gonna have my Thai green curry now, and then uh, we've also got some wine, um, because who doesn't take wine when they go camping? I mean, like, it's obvious that you have to. Um, and then we're gonna have uh, just, yeah, a nice chilled evening. I'm super happy to be here. Just actually can't get over it. So it is 10.23 p.m. and just heading up to the peak. We've been taking photographs, eating dinner, generally chilling, literally, because it's actually got really cold right now. And now we're just heading up to the peak so that we can see um, the most amazing full moon. And also, as luck would have it, it's the Perseid meteor shower tonight at midnight to 2 a.m. So we might not get much sleep, but we're going to experience while camping in Scotland in 20 whatnot degrees we're going to experience uh, the most beautiful full moon we're going to experience the most beautiful sunset we're going to experience the most beautiful sunrise and the Perseid shower how lucky are we? I mean, you literally couldn't ask for any more other than maybe some sleep <laughs> But I think it'll be worth a broken night to be able to see all of that. So let's see if I can show you the moon. Chances are it's not going to show up right on uh, on this GoPro, but I will do my best. There you go, you can see it. Not very well, <laughs> granted. But I promise you, if I zoomed in loads on this, it would be spectacular. With my eyes, it looks amazing. <laughs> You're just going to have to take my word for it. Good morning, everyone. It is 5.45, I've been up for about 15 minutes just getting into warm clothes the sun is rising i don't know if you guys can see behind me but that is a cloud inversion we've been hoping for it and look that's the moon we're heading up there to go and see it properly slept a little bit last night didn't sleep all that well i was so tired by the time we eventually went to bed that um, I slept decently. Yeah, I mean, t camping is never gonna be the best night's sleep that you get, but it's well worth it. <laughs> For these views, it is actually insane. <laughs> So I accidentally went back to sleep, of course. Um, Tia, no, come back. Oh my God. <laughs> accidentally went back to sleep and slept until like 8.45. No, sorry, 7.45, because we barely slept at all last night. I'm being pulled over by the dog, who has spotted another dog. But yeah, I'm back on the summit again, and the sun hasn't really come up because we're still in a cloud. So I was just sort of watching it rise and then, was just like, it's not gonna come out for a while. So I just went back to bed, um, which was very much needed. But this morning we're gonna wait for the sun to come up so that the tent dries off, because putting away a wet tent is just grim. And then taking out a wet tent or a moldy tent next time is also grim. So yeah, just gonna wait. I'm gonna have some breakfast, have some coffee, some tea. And um, once we're packed up, we'll, we'll head back down the route. I'm really excited to see it again, because actually it was really beautiful yesterday. There is these incredible bilberries, I think they are. Here. Um, we were told by someone else that they are edible, so we've been eating them. They taste just like blueberries. The dog has also been eating them. And they are absolutely delicious. So we've been doing some uh, wild foraging this morning, which is very much unexpected because we are lacking quite a lot of breakfast. So doing wild foraging of bilberries and having a nice breakfast in a min. But yeah, how cool is it that you can literally like just pick things up off the floor and eat them? I know that is literally like what farming is. It just feels kind of somewhat cooler when you're out and about and you're camping and stuff.
down the mountain now. Um, it is 20 past 10. We've actually stayed up a lot longer than we were expecting because the clouds were struggling to shift. So we kind of wanted to sit around and watch that happen. They have now gone a little bit so you can actually see what's going on. But you can't see the lock below, but that's fine because we saw it all last night. And now we're gonna pack up our camp see how this goes first time i've packed up a whole camp into all the bags and everything i'm very used to packing up all of my stuff but not the tent as well so we will see how this goes Perfect timing. We got the views just as we finished. So yeah, we're gonna head back down and, and you can see like a lot of that on the way back down as well. It's gorgeous. Fee? Yeah. Hello, how Hello. did you find it? That was amazing. Yeah? Perfect, we're so lucky with the weather. So lucky, what was your favorite bit? Probably the blood moon rise that we weren't expecting. There was a, like a blood moon and then two hours later there was the Perseid meteor shower. So kind of perfect we didn't realize either of those things are gonna happen so we got up here and we're just like lying up being like oh my god it just keeps getting better and better and better and obviously living in a city you never get to see things like that because there are buildings all around and there's light pollution and and all of this kind of stuff so so yeah I was super lucky to be able to get that and for our first wild camping experience it was pretty good would you say it was very good yeah, gonna have to do it again. Gonna have to do it again. So if you guys have any suggestions of where we should go next while camping, either in the Trossachs or anywhere else, especially Wales, because that's kind of a lot closer. Is it allowed? Don't really know. Anyway, let us know in the comments and I definitely think we'll be doing this again. And we can't forget the dog who was brilliant. She's being eaten by midges at the moment. So we're gonna head back down and escape because that has been the only downside to uh, while camping in Scotland is just midge galore. <laughs> Is it just me or does this look like Australia? We have been so, so, so spoilt with the weather. It just doesn't feel like Scotland. I've been to Scotland a lot and I, I've lucked out with the weather every single time, but it's never been like this. It's like 20, what's it getting to today? 27. 27 degrees. I mean, that is climate change for you, but in terms of what we wanted for our first experience while camping, it's uh, pretty ideal because it didn't get too hot until, you know, the point that we were leaving. So yeah, so lucky. But yeah, it doesn't look like, does not look like the UK here. We made it back to the car. It was a three, three-ish kilometer trip back, which isn't too bad. And it's such a beautiful day. Like, oh my God, I just feel so lucky to be able to do things like this and definitely feel like we're gonna be doing a lot more things like this in future. Now, especially that we've tested out the dog and she is a bona fide, uh, bona fide, Fido, bona fido, yeah. thank you. <laughs> a trail dog, camping dog, just all of this kind of stuff. She absolutely loves it. So yeah, really happy that honestly, I mean, she is a street dog, ex street dog. I feel like she feels a lot more comfortable living on the streets or on the top of a mountain than she does living in our house. Look at that face. No, <laughs> oh, baby. So that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys are considering doing something like this, I will do my best to answer any questions. Obviously this is only our first time, but if you have any questions about camping in this area or the hikes or anything, I will do my best to answer. Obviously I'm not a local, so I don't know all that much, but I feel like over the last five days we've been able to explore a little bit and we'll definitely be back. So there will be more content coming from this part of the world, hopefully soon, hopefully in not too long. But if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Definitely go and check out Go Outdoors as well if you are planning on doing anything like this because they have loads of kit. There was really nothing that we brought that we didn't feel like we needed. And the only thing I would have brought in addition was just some comfier trousers to like hang around in, in the evening because this morning the midges were a little bit bad. So having long trousers would have been super useful. But other than that, I feel like we kind of brought everything that we absolutely needed. Much of that was thanks to Go Outdoors. So definitely go and check them out. I think that is it. I will see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.